and now we'll take a look at the alternator wiring so it's a short harness very simple but it is a separate harness from the main harness so you've got your lug that actually attaches to the um, bolt that's on the actual uh, alternator and then you have the plug now this plug is real simple it just has a, a battery plus and a alternator light or lamp um, some of them have more connectors some of them aren't even used when they're in here um, it's probably best to just shoot me an email and let me know what you have and I can kind of walk you through how to wire that and then it's just clipped at the at the um, not the firewall the uh, fender so goes by the fuse box in the engine compartment and gets clipped and showed you that in the um, the harness removal video so now let's take a look I'm gonna, just gonna strip it out and take away some of the, the covering here as there is a there are a few wires here that went to the AC equipment so if you're keeping AC you want to keep that connector but I just clipped it off since no AC is going into this bus here we have the uh, protective covering taken off and we have the AC wires removed so what we're left with are the three battery connections now this will be tied these will be tied together um, and um, when installing a large crimp will go on that and then that will install on the battery connection of the starter in a in a VW bus and then the alternator wire this black with white stripe this will actually connect to the alternator or generator wire in the uh, right side of the engine bay so I'm gonna just go ahead and get this labeled up I'll throw the protective covering back on now that it's a little cleaned up and uh, this will be ready to go all right so everything's labeled up got the coating back on and um, it's ready to get installed here so this one like I said is going out to a customer so um, they're gonna install the lug on this at the proper length and install that on the starter this connects to the alternator or generator lamp wire that's in the uh, right hand side of the engine bay on a bus in a vanigan this guy connects to the red wire in the existing vanigan harness and this guy connects to the blue wire in the existing vanigan uh, alternator harness so pretty simple in the vanigan in the uh, bus you have to just use this entire harness so that wraps it up for the alternator harness it was pretty simple some of them are a little more complex and I'll probably get one in my hands at some point to show you the three wire or even four wire connections but um, overall they're they're all fairly simple